What's Google My Business and is it meant for only local businesses? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith and that's what we do. We help you grow online. And one of the most beneficial ways to grow online right now is by optimizing your Google My Business listing. You don't have to be a local business for this. You can also be an online business. We have optimized ours and we work with people all over the US. So if you wanna get more traffic, more visitors, more leads and more customers from Google, since they're pushing this to the top of their results, then listen up. In this video, I wanna share with you four simple tips to optimize your Google My Business profile, how to set it up, how to get more traffic, what to post, and how to get reviews. Step number one, first, you gotta make the account. If you don't already have a Google My Business account, it's what shows up at the top of Google Maps. It even shows up at the top of Google Search. Why? Because Google knows that that's what their customers prefer to see. So what it is, is first you're gonna to go to business.google.com and you can either create your listing or log into your current listing. And what you wanna do is put in all your information. If you're a local business, that's easy. Put your business's address in. Most of the time, they're gonna to ask to send a postcard to verify you're the only one at that location. All you have to do is wait for the postcard, put the code in, they'll approve you, and you will be live. If you're an online or virtual business, they're gonna send a postcard to your home address. But don't worry, your business will not show until you verify that postcard. So once you get that postcard to your home address, go to business.google.com, make sure it's verified, and then you can hide your address and make yourself an online provider. All right, so that's step number one, get verified, set up your account. All right, step number two is to optimize your account. You need to make it look good. So this is when you're gonna wanna add your hours, your services, your description, all of your links to your website. Make sure you post really cool photos in there. So this is, people are going to see your pictures. You can even upload videos like this. So if you're posting things on YouTube, whatever you're posting on your Facebook page, duplicate that, put it right in your Google, my business profile. That way it's optimized. It's looking good. Everything's working. All the links are going to your site. Your business looks cool and people are going to be more interested when they see your site against others on the Google search listing results. All right, step number three, let's get some traffic to the Google My Business listing. This is one of the most beneficial ways we've been able to increase our SEO is by optimizing this page. Now we know Google knows that their customers like to see Google Maps at the top. We know that they're gonna show our pictures. They're gonna send people back to our website. Well, what we need to do is we need to be more active on there. Just like you go to Facebook, LinkedIn to post your content updates, or even your website with your blog post, you need to copy and paste that into your Google My Business listing. Whatever you put into Facebook, your blogs, or LinkedIn, copy and paste the same thing into Google My Business. All you have to do, business.google.com, go to your listing, click on add an update, drag and drop a picture in there, drag and drop, copy and paste a short description, change the button to learn more, add the link back to your website. Simple as one, two, three. So whatever you're doing on social media and your website, do the same thing, copy and paste it to Google My Business. Now Google recognizes that you're using their platform, you're posting consistent updates, you're bringing value to their customers, so they'll start bringing your listings higher to the top. Tip number four, let's start getting some Google reviews. Google knows their customers like reviews. We're doing this for Google, right? We're making Google happy. They know what their customers want, they wanna keep their customers happy, so you gotta do what they say. First thing they show are your reviews. What they do is they give you this handy little link. All you have to do, business.google.com, go to the review link, copy it, and start emailing and texting your friends, family, coworkers, anyone you know, customers, of course, for reviews. Make it easy for them. Make sure you say, will you please leave me a five-star review? Ask them for a five-star or they won't remember to give you five stars. They can also upload images. So if you've worked with them and there's any pictures out there, provide them the image and ask them to post the image with their review. This is gonna make you look even better. Last but not least, give them an example of a review. Not everyone knows what to write. Say, hey, I'd appreciate it if you talked about our time working together and how you like working with me. Here's a little bit, um, here's another review example that might help you create your own review. That will help you get more five-star reviews, give your customers an easy response so they are more likely to leave you that review. All right, bonus tip number five, you can do Google ads for your Google My Business, especially if you're a local business, you can make sure you're number one on the Google Maps listing. We recently did this for our local pizza restaurant. So they wanna be number one when somebody's typing in pizza, 
NFL Sunday ticket, beer, wine, wings. So what we did was we ran an ad. So now their Google Maps listing is number one when people search on maps. So the first thing they're gonna see if anyone's looking for pizza in the area, their restaurant right there. They're gonna outbeat their competition. Your competition most likely isn't doing this. And if they are, it's pretty easy to beat them. And this is where we come in. If you guys need help setting up your Google My Business, making sure you're number one at the top, make sure you reach out to me. You'll see the link in the description below. But other than that, I hope these tips helped you. Go set up your Google My Business listing. If you need any help, make sure you comment your link and I'll go check it out and give you some feedback. Thanks again for watching. And if you're new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you subscribe and comment in new down below so I can send you some free resources. Thanks again and have a great day.